Hey, this is Dave with AFA Church. I want to share a word with you today and encourage you. I'm looking at 1 John chapter 4, verse 16. He says this, We've come to know and believe the love that God has for us. And he makes this profound statement, God is love. Listen to what he says. He doesn't say God has a lot of love. He says God is love. I want you to know something today. God is love towards you. God loves you so much. And he says, we've come to know and believe the love. Listen, it's not just enough to, to know about God loving you. You've got to get into a place where you not only know it, but you believe it in your heart. Believe the love that he has for us. See, I believe a lot of Christians have trouble with this. They, they might think in their heads, that, well, maybe yeah, God loves me, but when it comes down to the practical sense of, does God want to heal me? Does God want to bless me? Does God want to mend my life? Does God want to put my family back together? They think, well, maybe, maybe not, maybe, I don't know. But listen, if I understand, I believe that he loves me. If I believe he loves me, he wants the best for me. And that's what he wants to do for you today. But listen, there's so many things that try to get us out of the love of God. And we've got to determine in our hearts to continue in that love. He says, remain in that love. In fact, he says in verse 17, we have confidence with him in the day of judgment for as he is, so are we in this world. And so he says, he says, believe the love. God is love. Whoever remains in love remains in God. If you remain in his love, you're remaining in him. But listen, there's people that will try to get you. The enemy wants to get you out of love and he'll use people sometimes to do it. Sometimes people will come, they just rub you the wrong way, they just say the wrong thing, they just, you know, the, our world is just all about fighting, it seems right now in this time, in this season that we're in, there's so much, there's so much fighting, there's so much, it's a spiritual problem, there's just so much uh, anger and so much hatred, one person toward another, one group against another, and, and, uh, and in the midst of all this hatred, it's easy to get out of love. It's easy to step out of the love of God and get into being upset with somebody because they hurt my feelings. But listen, the Word of God says, faith works by love. So if you stay in love, you stay in faith. Why is that important? Listen, he also says this in Ephesians chapter 6, that the, he describes faith like a shield. The shield of faith that you quench all the fiery darts of the devil. See, what's happening in your life, and, and sometimes we don't recognize that there's a spiritual war that's happening around us, and the enemy wants nothing more to, than to shoot his fiery arrows at you, his arrows straight from hell to try to attack you. And he'll shoot everything he can to think he can think of. He'll shoot disappointment. He'll shoot all kinds of uh, lust and fear and anger and, and all these different things will come to attack you. And if you don't have your faith working, if you don't have your shield, you've got no defense. Your shield is meant to protect you. So when those things come against you, they just they just fall away. But once we get out of love, if I get out of love and I get angry with my brother, I get angry with my sister, somebody who said something against me, what's happening is now suddenly my faith's not working. Now suddenly I'm putting myself in a very dangerous position because I'm open to attack from the enemy. I want you to understand something today. You've got to stay in his love. You've got to keep that love working. That's why the Word of God tells us so often to forgive. And sometimes we think, well, why do I have to forgive them? They, they really hurt me. Do you know what they did? Do you know what this person said to me? It, listen, it doesn't matter. God loved you so much that he forgave you. So now he wants you to act like him and be like him. Listen, this isn't, this isn't a natural thing, is it? It's very natural to get upset. It's very natural to get our feelings hurt. It's very natural to want to react when someone says something to us that makes us upset. But listen, when the love of God is working in us, we, we don't act like natural people. In fact, you're, if you're born again, you're not a natural person. You know, you know how the, the supernatural power of God at work in you by His Holy Spirit. So when that supernatural power is working through you, you don't act like a natural person. You're acting like a supernatural person because that's who you are. So you can walk in love today. You can walk in forgiveness today, even when someone's hurt you, even when someone's said something against you that's, that's, that's really wronged you. You can walk in forgiveness and walk in that love, but you got to keep that love working. He goes one step further in verse 18. He says, there is no fear in love because love, uh, fear involves punishment and perfect love drives out fear. Listen to me today. When you understand, when you know, when you believe the love of God, 
There's nothing that can come against you. Our world today is pushing fear every single day, more and more just trying to make us fearful, trying to make us anxious, trying to make us worried. But listen to me, when you know his love, when you believe his love, there's no fear that can come against you. There's no fear that can come on you. The enemy can try to shoot his arrows, but nothing's getting through because you know the love of God. And I wanna bless you with that today. Let me pray for you. Maybe you're struggling with some area in your life. Something in your life is bothering you today. And, and you just need to get to a place where you believe the love. If you need to forgive someone today, you do that right now. If your life's not right with Jesus, you make it right right now. You just say, Jesus, come into my life. Make me a new person. Forgive me of my sins. I give you my life. And Jesus will come into your life and change your life forever. But if you need to forgive somebody, do that now. Because when you hold on to forgiveness, you're holding on to bitterness. You're holding on to something that's allowing the enemy to come against you and attack you. So pray with me right now. Lord, I thank you that if there's any unforgiveness in our hearts, we release it in the name of Jesus. If something's coming to your mind right now, some person is coming to your mind, you forgive them right now in the name of Jesus. You might say, I don't want to. No, it doesn't matter what you want to do. You do it. Uh, you say, no, I can't because they've hurt me so bad. No, you do it anyway. Lord, I thank you that you, you give us the supernatural power to forgive. I thank you, Lord, that you've given us the power to walk in love even when we've been hurt. Lord, I thank you for each person, for blessing them, Lord, I thank you for just, uh, just ministering healing and, and, and ministering salvation, whatever the need is. We thank you, Lord, that you're the God that meets our needs. And we thank you, Lord, that we can walk in love and walk in forgiveness today in the name of Jesus. Hey, thanks for watching. I want to remind you today, keep living the abundant life that Jesus came to give you.